hello my beauties how's everyone doing today i'm doing great if you are new here my name is zona i welcome you to my channel if you are a returning beauty welcome back so today we are doing something so much fun something we haven't done on the channel before we are talking style and clothes we are talking about revamping old clothes that you've had we can't all always buy a whole new wardrobe whenever we want so for me i always try to get items that will take me through many years or many seasons but after some times you kind of get tired of those items or run out of ideas on how you can dress them so my favorite app pinterest is always a go-to for me now i have come up with a few outfits and i'm hoping that you will get something that you like as well and you can always buy it it doesn't have to be old or if you already have then you will look into styling it up this different way that i'll be sharing with you today so here are the pinterest outfits we're doing today it's a pleated bright midi skirt classic cream or white pants a plain white t-shirt a midi length animal print skirt bright everyday high-waisted pants and pleather pants before we go to the outfits though here are a few tips of how you can make your clothes last you a bit longer make sure to wash them don't wear an item until it is super dirty because it's going to be difficult to wash off any stains on the cuffs or wherever and speaking of washing and cleaning your clothes it's important to get a good detergent for your clothes because some we know that they cause your clothes to get worn out or to lose color immediately you don't want to use those i don't want to mention brands but they are washing washing powders that you see that uh, this one yeah it could be color but then you don't want that and there's this particular one that's been doing the rounds i think they've been working over time on instagram and all that they're very colorful i've been using that washing powder and it really does maintain the quality of my fabrics and maintain the colors use fabric softener on your washing so that the items can remain soft it helps to reduce friction on your items this means they won't be making that funny electric sound or sticking onto you especially fabrics like your polyester satin without fabric softener they will be sticky to you and it won't be a good look when you dry your clothes it's important to look at the care label if it says do not ring then do not ring it do not put it on the spinner we'll see some of these items you will see what i'm talking about and you know if you have to hang it out on the sun or you shouldn't hang it in direct sunlight to maintain the length of life that you will get out of it also it's important to make sure that you iron your items you will get me for this one there's an item that's not ironed but i, I will explain later but to maintain the good health of your clothes just iron them because another thing about ironing is that it helps the item i've seen it on myself to not get dirty fast and the overall look of your outfit looks better when the items iron also it's worth noting that when you are looking for key items in your wardrobe even if you're a bargain hunter like myself just try with some items get the ones that will last you for longer that will allow you more freedom to play around with the fun trends that come and go but the classic items will carry you through and will last you for a longer period of time you would have to rebuy and rebuy i always wait for sales when when i want to buy these things these classic pieces i wait for them until they are at a place where i feel like now i can buy this unless it's a really pushing matter then i will splurge now to get into the first outfit in this this item has been a big favorite of mine for years in my closet it's this blue guys <laughs> what do you call tralala in english i don't know it's this blue pleated circle skirt i am totally getting a lot more than my money's worth with this one i bought the skirt in 2015 
here in East London in Cambridge Street. There was a second hand shop there, but it's no longer there, unfortunately. And this item was the only item, but I'm pretty sure you can get this anywhere because it's out, uh, updated as the seasons and years go. This is such a lovely one. It is written Florence and Fred. I don't know where the brand is from. This classic. So in terms of K, as you can see, it is pleated. When I wash it, I wash it by hand. I don't put it in the machine and I keep it like this. I just scrunch it, scrunch it, scrunch and twist like this, scrunch and twist. This to maintain the pleats on the item and then I tie it like this. So as per the inspo, I've paired it with leopard print shoes and a nice neat jersey this jersey i got from jumbo and i think it's from asos originally i really did enjoy the look i also got her earrings right <laughs> so up next are these cream pants i got from woolies years ago so these pants i've also had since 2016 yes i actually didn't even buy them at woolworths to be honest, I got these from the clothing bank. Woolworths has this charity that they do where they take some of their rejected stuff and, or maybe not so fast selling items and give them to these ladies. Ladies that are in need of employment, that are just hustling. They teach them skills, their business skills, and they give them some of these items. So I always support that initiative because I always find great things there. Oh, I'm shocked that this is also a size 8. That's why it's so tight. <laughs> so I just washed this properly on the machine. I'm pretty sure this is polyester. That's been cut off. They debrand the items. So some of these things you will not see. But this baby right here has seen me through many seasons. And you know, weight gains and weight loss. Even now I'm still a bit thick for it. But I've won it once before in this current weight and here is how it looks on i have paired it with um, this new basic neat fairly new i've worn it once before from zara basics also taking it back to buying these items that i feel like will last me longer i waited to buy these tops i've talked about it before it shade that outfit of the day here when i was wearing it for the second time it goes back to what I was talking about on waiting for these basic items to go on sale because that top I bought for 179 Rand and it was coming from 399 Rand. Currently, that's the price that it is going at on the website. I'm going to wait again for another sale to get it. Even then, when it was on sale, it started at 299 and I told myself, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until it goes down to the point where i feel like yes i can buy this simple basic top and it went from 299 down to 179 then i finally was like okay i'm gonna snatch that and i'm wearing it with these mules also from the zara sale i love these they are fine leather but i'll go into detail when i do the haul of my new wardrobe update haul but for now that's the look this next one the focus is mostly on the white t-shirt plain white t-shirt which i have misplaced in this mess <laughs> so i don't have it on my hand but you will see it on and what i have paired it with i normally wear it with black pants or jeans or you know formal pants i haven't really tried this type of look it's nothing groundbreaking or brand new but i just felt like i hadn't worn it before i paired the plain white t-shirt with this satin skirt as you will see on the insert this skirt is obviously a, a dupe of the good old zara satin skirt but i got it recently it is a new feeling item we know where new feeling items are from <laughs> my china all over so i'm pretty sure if you are looking for this baby you can check at your local boutiques but with mine i actually had to have it tailored by my sister because when i first bought it it was 
so big and it was the only size there and i really wanted it because i at the time when it was still a heat you know everyone wanted it it was a bit expensive so i waited it out and bought it now because i still feel like this is still a nice cut of a skirt um so i did enjoy wearing it with my plain white t-shirt i felt like it was a nice twist for me because when i'm wearing a plain white t-shirt i'll pair it with something that's a bit muted that's a bit casual so i felt like pairing it with this semi dressy skirt made it that bit extra that bit nicer i really do like this i love i love i love the fabric here maybe new feeling don't 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 but i plan on getting many looks out of this i don't care if it is no longer on trend or whatever but this is still a good feel for me it's so feminine it's so me and now we are looking at an oldie that is a big favorite of mine i love 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 this skirt it is a pleated animal print needy skirt it is a bit longer than my other needy skirts so i can have a lot of fun with this one i can wear it with flats and it looks stunning i love wearing flats with something of a bit of a longer length as opposed to just below my knees i don't know i just feel it gets comfortable casual as well as well as pairing it with heels and really just getting that good vibe it's i'm a big lady you know i got this into mandala i got this baby believe it or not from pip i got this skirt from pip in 2019 i believe it is a tube of something more expensive because i saw mahalia mahalia buchanan from joy celebration wearing something like this and i was like there's no way mahalia will know this from pep pep is my little shine this day i'm not expecting celebrities to know it so i don't know if you guys know if you've seen it because i've seen it a lot more than you know i've seen it worn by people that i don't think will shop at pep i don't know i could be right i could be wrong you know what i mean i had just gone to pep to buy gray socks for my son in 2019 and i was like what is this a beauty that's the fabric in this thing it's so flowy it's so nice it is so rich it is 100 percent polyester people can say all sorts of things about polyester mm, nah, i like my polyester because this baby right here no jonji no lost color the plates are still banging 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 i love this you know even with this it works it works with everything because previously i had wanted super feminine i just thought okay now mixing it with the boyfriend shirt the husband shirt if you are taking <laughs> i felt like it brought a new twist to it because previously i've worn it with um polo neck um worn it with a shirt with the blouse i just felt like the white shirt has spiced it up as you can see i really love how it looks with the white shirt i've paired it with my black sandals also new from woolies um i'm gonna expand on that when i do my woolies sale haul so yeah look at that and i'm wearing my gold chain from get unboxed yes that's how this baby looks i love the cold shoulder situation it kind of softens up the look because like i said i have worn this with a white shirt but now with the oversized shirt and the slight tilt on the side it makes it a bit more fun and it makes it look different from how it was the first time i wore it the lighting conditions are ever so changing the weather outside is changing like something i don't know so i do apologize for that the next item that we're looking at are these pants leather pants these are not necessarily wardrobe staples especially in this color maybe in black we can say that there are staples or burgundy i just feel like with green i wouldn't really call it a staple but one thing is for sure though it's that they are not really trendy i'm sure you have seen leather pants over the years so these are not so much of a problem for me in terms of color but 
the reason i didn't like these pants much is that i was really disappointed in the quality well i got them from the fix so i was not really expecting like real leather i kind of do not like these pants to be quite honest with you so i really needed to find a way that i can make them work these are a size 12 um as you can tell i'm not so crazy about these pants so i really was intentional to look for something that i can wear it with um the last time i wore these pants i wore them with a top polo neck top sort of thing also from the fix and i didn't fill that outfit but i had to post something about it i posted it and i left it on and then, then i took it down <laughs> that's how bad the situation was uh, but i feel like at the time i was still a lot bigger than i am now because i just i think i was still two months postpartum or one month postpartum so yeah even with buying the size 12 i knew that i would want to wear these i would need to wear these shortly after giving birth so that's why i got the size 12 and i'm glad i did because the sizing honey i don't know maybe it's just me and my booty but it just shocks me that i can fit to some size 8 and some size 10 but a size 12 still fits awkwardly on me but anyway that enough about the rambling this baby not so much of a classic but pleather pants are quite a thing in in a wardrobe and i have to make it work and it was lucky for me because i already have this bodysuit that i got also in my chinese it is a new feeling item obviously as you can tell by the cuts it is trying to be a dupe of that zara famous bodysuit but it is far from it because the fabric is totally different this one is cotton super stretchy and can get on chonchi pa is cutting color so i went ahead and wore it with this black bag that i bought from an instagram boutique and later saw a china monster but anyway it is working for this look and i actually might rock this look for a lunch it is not bad i'm not mad at this look sham 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 has <laughs> lastly but certainly not least one of my favorite favorite items in my wardrobe these teal green don't know what this color is from zara when zara first arrived in south africa well not zara the actual store arrival the um, zara online was launched in south africa i am one of the many micro influencers they picked to first try out the website and get a few items for free from them so this baby right here is so sentimental to me for that one reason <laughs> i know right i remember the bars on twitter about that campaign people saying ah everyone now thinks they're an influencer because they're working on this campaign with zara and i was like yeah hell yeah you are right i am thinking i have that because influencing really for me i got to learn at that time when i was working with the people that were behind that campaign that yes the numbers count for you but they do consider how interactive your platform is so they will pick you uh, even if people will have a problem with it so i love these babies they're nice white leg this is a classic cut of pants it has all the basics that pants will have and i also love that it is high-waisted it's such a fresh 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 babe but in terms of color it is not a classic color which is what has brought me here you know i've worn it with the black polo neck my favorite item of all times <laughs> if you haven't gathered and i felt like yeah i got the way out of it and then i wore it with the for the actual campaign i wore it with a t-shirt which i also got from that campaign and that was about it with it so i decided to find inspiration and the inspiration also was simple because it is quite a color that is bright i got a white shirt i saw a lady wearing something similar with a white fitted shirt i had not worn it with a white fitted shirt before so this was fun for me and also mixing it up with leopard print i really thoroughly enjoyed that part but i still feel like i can get some wear out of this maybe with a brighter color or a print you know printed top so even though it's not really a classic color 
I can get away with different um, ways of styling it simply because it is a classic cut so I really thoroughly love this as you can see there's the shirt the shirt I'm wearing it with is from Woolworths the handbag is from Mr. Price but it is many years old and the leopard print shoes that I love so much are from The Fix. As I go, they are a block heel, kind of pointed, super comfortable. I love them. They go with any and everything comfortable too. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much, ladies, for watching this. I am hoping that you got some fun ideas and you will also be looking into Pinterest for outfit ideas to zhuzh up the old clothing items that you already had i'm hoping that we'll have more chats like this where we are talking clothes and having fun with clothes i will be bringing in some hauls as well which i hope you will enjoy but for now please make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the bell button to make sure that you don't miss any new posts so i'm still taking those content ideas bring them on <laughs> thank you